Hey friends, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Hey, my name is Christina. Nice to meet you. <laughs> To my amazing supporters, thank y'all so much for y'all amazing support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. I missed y'all. Every time I go like without dropping videos the way that I used to, if you've been following me for a long time, you know there was a time I used to drop videos every single day, babe. Like I used to see y'all every day. Now, we at two times a week. We back at two times a week, which I'm very grateful for, which is Mondays at 9.15 p.m., Fridays at 9.15 p.m. So when I say I miss y'all, I mean it. So we gonna get straight into it. I am going to talk about working under pressure. Okay, I know everybody don't work well under pressure. This motivation part is gonna be like quick and just, you know, quick. But I know everybody don't work well under pressure or some people just don't know how to work under pressure. And when I say pressure, I mean, pressure could mean there's a lot going on. Sometimes there could be, mean like you just have big tasks like on your plate that you need to do. So it creates pressure. And I know for me right now, I feel like I am in a season, like I'm approaching a season of pressure because I want to like raise the bar and like take things to another level which is creating pressure for me so I'm like okay how can I go about working under this pressure that I got and remember pressure number one remember that pressure creates diamonds like when there is pressure baby that means a diamond is being created when there is pressure that means something good is about to come but you have to get through the pressure in order to get the results that you are looking for the first thing I would say is focus on one thing at a time when I'm working under pressure y'all I have to focus on one thing at a time so that I could be successful because if I'm focused on this 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 this, this and distracted I'm gonna not end up accomplishing anything but if I tune out everything and I just lock in on this one particular thing I will get that thing done like no matter what is being thrown at me second control what you can control sometimes when there's pressure you feel like you don't have control and that's true some things you are not going to have control of but things that you do have control of like your emotions how you react what you're taking your time to do and to lock in and focus on you could control control that there are certain things babe you are not going to be able to control and you have to be a hundred percent okay with that third thing expect anything okay I'm in a space in my life right now like in my career where I'm like girl expect anything the good the bad the ugly the greatest like literally expect anything like just expect anything have an open mind because I feel like when you're like okay I'm only expecting this particular thing then you get caught up in your emotions you get disappointed you get distracted but when you expect anything like okay this could turn out better than I thought I could get more help on this particular thing that I'm working on or doing than I thought it's gonna go it's gonna go good and then most importantly just know that the pressure will eventually end the good thing that I've learned about pressure is that it do not last forever y'all like it's always just for a season that's why one thing I'm very 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 grateful for is I don't get overwhelmed like it's very rare that I operate in a space of being overwhelmed or being stressed out because I feel like once I'm stressed or overwhelmed then I need to remove myself from that situation I don't belong in stressful situations I don't belong in overwhelming situations and that has been my mindset I would say for the last several months and I've come to love it I've come to enjoy it because I just feel like when you're stressed when you're overwhelmed you can't really be as productive you know like I know some people say like when they do feel stressed and overwhelmed they automatically unplug because they don't know how to operate and function in that space so anytime I'm in a space that like makes me feel so called overwhelmed or stressed I don't operate in it I don't even like I don't tap into that frequency and I feel like you should do the same thing so know that that season will end and I think I don't operate in that space of being stressed or overwhelmed because I just know whatever it is that's happening whatever it is that's creating pressure at the moment 
it's going to end. Like I might need extra time to get through it or get the task done, but it's going to get done. So ain't no need to stress, ain't no need to be overwhelmed, ain't no need to let the pressure overtake me. So that is all I got for y'all in the motivational part of the video. And now we're going to get into the crumble part, which I'm super duper excited about y'all. And I'm excited because crumble, um, they tweeted the day before they dropped the new lineup saying they got like something new for us to try, something exciting. And I was like, okay, crumble, do your big one, Dan. <laughs> and they did a big one, y'all. I'm going to show y'all. Look it. It's giving cake. It's giving mini cake, babe. Okay. So... We're gonna get straight into it. The first one is a semi-sweet chocolate chunk, and that's a regular regular. It says chocolate chip, but make it chunky. A delicious cookie filled with irresistible semi-sweet chocolate chunks and a sprinkle of flaky sea salt. Now, my one confession with Crumble is, y'all have made me love chocolate chip cookies again. I used to like lie to myself that I hate them, but I found myself eating them a few times and I'm pretty sure it's because of the encounter that I've had with y'all. Second one on the lineup, y'all. Not a circle, not a triangle, <laughs> but a square, okay? It's a cinnamon square. It says a moist, fluffy cinnamon square marbled with brown sugar cinnamon butter and smothered with a light vanilla cream cheese frosting y'all look it like y'all did that i love the little you know the little container the little bake pan or whatever y'all want to call it so i'm about to cut a little piece of this try it out and see what they talking about y'all this one could be like a little birthday cake oh it's giving cinnabon y'all look it's giving cinnabon mm. it's giving cinnabon basically you call it a mini cake now i want to share with the whole world that is amazing Y'all, what if Crumble transitioned from cookies to like mini cakes? This was so good. Y'all need to do this more often. Okay, Crumble, do your big one then. <laughs> Third one on the line that is a strawberry crumb cake. I have had this one before, y'all know. You know, I had to double it. <laughs> All just aside though, I had to double back, y'all. I'm so glad they actually brought it back. And this is a buttery strawberry cookie topped with a strawberry vanilla streusel and a milky glaze, y'all. I love crumble, like, I literally love crumble. Hmm. Damn. Next one on the lineup. If I was to get a box of four, I'll definitely try this one, but this one is a cannoli. Like, that's super creative crumble. It says two chilled buttery cookies sandwiching a cannoli inspired filling and a layer of mini semi-sweet chocolate chips and then topped with a dusting of powdered sugar, okay? That was creative crumble, I like that. Next one, mm, a cookies and cream one. I believe I've tried this one before as well, but it's a, a marble dark chocolate and vanilla cookie topped with a white drizzle and crumbly cookies and cream pieces. Last one is peanut butter featuring Reese's Pieces. Reese's Cup, Reese's Cup, peanut butter chocolate flavor. <laughs> y'all know that commercial? Oh no, it's not Reese's Cup, it's the Reese's Puffs commercial, y'all. I used to love Reese's Puffs cereal. And it says Reese's Puff, Reese's Puff. Peanut butter chocolate flavor. So that's what this cookie made me think of. And it says a thick 
peanut butter cookie packed with craveable Reese's Pieces candies, y'all. So, I'm about to rate these cookies. This ain't a cookie, y'all. It's a cake. It is not a cookie. It's definitely a cake. And when I tell you I'm about to savor it, this is gonna last me for like a couple of days because I'm about to package it so it can stay fresh. And I'm gonna be cutting pieces at it when I'm ready for dessert. Like that would be so bomb with some ice cream, y'all. I would be so dramatic and magnify this cake so much. I will put it like on my cake stand. <laughs> Because it definitely gives cake and cake quality. Like, y'all did that, Crumble. So, this one, I would give it a 13 out of 10. It was bomb. It was worth the surprise. It was worth the promo. Because, like I said, they talked about it a day before they dropped the lineup. They was like, oh, we got a surprise for y'all. I said, like, come on, ain't got no surprise. <laughs> Sure did. So with that, actually, what I want to do, dang, that made me wish I had did it sooner, but I'm going to do a giveaway this video. For anybody that comments below what I rate these cookies, I will give you a crumble gift card. Yeah, I will give you a crumble gift card so that y'all could go and try crumble, but it has to be the first person that do it. This video drops on a Friday. Y'all will have until Saturday to do it. So. Yeah, I'm gonna do a giveaway this video, but this, you just have to comment what I rated these cookies. So this one is a 13 out of 10. Honestly, like, I don't think I've ever gave a cookie a 15. This deserve a 15 out of 10. So I'm gonna push it and say 15 out of 10. I think this is the best thing I've ever eaten from Crumble. And then this, I would give it, um, it was good. I would say a 13 out of 10. I'll let the, the strawberry crumb cake be a 13 out of 10. And then the cinnamon square, baby, square away, okay? So yeah, 15 out of 10. That is all I have for y'all. Just remember, no matter the pressure, never, ever, ever fold. Like I get pressure all the time, but I make up my mind that I will never fold like there's no pressure that could fold me and just keep going keep pushing keep pressing forward eventually like the pain is going to subside the pressure is going to subside everything is going to subside and before you know it, you'll be in a new season where you're no longer under so much pressure so i love you guys so much again just keep moving forward keep pushing keep working keep grinding it's all going to pay off and yeah Thank you guys. I love y'all so much. I'm going to see y'all in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be 